Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how I set up the artificial lighting in my projects. Let me show you first the final render we will get. In this specific project, I have used V-Ray Sun, V-Ray Lights above and below the mirror and on the vanity cabinet, and I also used them in these two pendants. And I have also placed V-Ray IES below my recessed ceiling lights. Let me go back to my 3ds Max file. So, what do we have here for now? I have applied a white finish in my scene since we will see the materials in the next lesson. I have set up my camera as described on the second lesson and I have set the V-Ray Sun as described on the third course. So, if I hit the render button, I get this render. Let's start adding the lights. I will first start with the LED lights behind the mirror. I personally prefer to isolate parts of my scene so that it is easier for me to place the lights. And what do I mean by that? I will select the mirror, click on the control button and select the walls, and then right click and select Isolate selection. That I believe makes it easier not to get confused on where the light should be placed. Go to the command panel, click on the create panel and then lights. Click on the photometric button and select V-Ray. Click on V-Ray light from the object type rollout. Go to the top view, zoom in to see the mirror Click, drag your cursor and leave it to create the LED light. Click on the Select and Move command. Right click in the front view and elevate the light to place it below the mirror. Now we want to copy this light to the upper part of the mirror as well. With your right selected, Click on the Shift button in your keyboard and drag your light. You can see that a copy of your light is created. Leave it at the upper end of the mirror. On the Clone Options pop-up window, select Instance so that any changes you will do to one of these lights will automatically apply to the other light as well. Why? If you select copy, then if you change one of these lights, the other light won't be affected. So, in this case, we want instance. Now you can see that these V-Ray lights have an arrow that shows the direction of the light. So, this one points correctly, but we need to rotate, mirror this one to face towards the ceiling. To do so, select the light, Click on the mirror command, select Y, and you can see the light changing direction automatically. Click OK. Right click in any window and select and isolate so that you can see the whole scene again. Let's hit the render button. It is looking good so far, let's play a bit with its parameters. So, select the light and go to the Modify tab. I personally like to use warm lights, so go to the Mode option, click on the color and select Temperature. And then type 4000 Kelvin at the Temperature field. The multiplier value adjusts the intensity of the light. The default value is 30. Let's say that I want to double the intensity, so let me type 60 and re-render. I would like my light even stronger, so let me make it 90 and re-render. That's awesome. Let's follow the same steps to place the LED lights on the vanity cabinet. To be more specific, I will select this lower part of my vanity, right click and select Isolate Selection.
go to the Create tab, click on VRA Lite. Go to the top view and zoom in to clearly see where you want to place the light. Click, drag your cursor and leave it to create the LED light. Go to the front view, click on the Select and Move command and elevate the light. Now, create instances and spread them like I will do now. Select one of the lights, go to the Modify tab, instead of color select Temperature and set the temperature to 4000 Kelvin. Let's render. We definitely need to increase the intensity of those lights, so instead of 30, let's say maybe 100 and re-render. I would like them even brighter, so let's make the multiplier value 300 and re-render. That's better. Let me now place lights in the globes of the two pendants. I will first select them and isolate them. Go to the Create tab, select V-Ray Light and scroll down in the General tab, go to the Type and select instead of Plane, Sphere. Go to the top view, click and drag your cursor and now you create a V-Ray Light in the shape of a sphere. Go to the front view and elevate the light using the Select and Move command. Create an instance for the second pendant. Right click and select and isolate. If we render now, you won't see any difference because the finish of the globe is a white solid material. We need to have opacity, refraction, in order for the light to come out of the globes. I will explain the finishes in my next tutorial, so for now I will just apply a glass finish without any further explanation. render. We are all set with the V-Ray lights, so we are now ready to move on to another type, the V-Ray IES lights. Let's select the two spotlights we have in the ceiling and isolate them.
go to the command panel. Click on the create panel and then lights. Click on V-Ray IES from the object type rollout. Go to the front view. Zoom in to one of the spots, click to place the light, drag your cursor and leave it to place the target. Using the select and move command, relocate your light. Make an instance of this light and move it to the second spot. Select one of the IES lights and go to the Modify tab. Click on the None button and select the IES file. I will scroll down and select Temperature and set it to 4000 Kelvin as I did with my V-Ray lights before. I want all my artificial lights to have the same temperature. Now let's go back to the whole scene and re-render. You can see this beautiful light casted on the wall from the recessed ceiling light. I can increase the intensity and let's say double it. So I will go to the intensity value and instead of 10,000, I will type 20,000. That's better. So, do you see the difference between a V-Ray light and a V-Ray IES? The V-Ray lights are mainly linear or spherical, while you can use IES lights to give shape to your light. Let me try another IES light. Go to the Modify tab, click on the, e uh, click on the IES that we loaded before, the 01, and select another IES. Let me also increase the intensity before I render. See now, this one starts casting light from further down and also has a different shape. Let's try one more. I hope now it's clear how IES lights work. You can find many free IES lights in the web. That's all with the artificial lighting setup of this project. Feel free to share with me any questions you might have at this point. Thank you so much for watching.